Tomorrow, the United Kingdom goes to the ballot box to elect a new prime minister in what is proving to be one of the most controversial elections in recent UK history. Welcome to Real Matters. British Prime Minister Theresa May called a snap election on the 18th of April, sending the UK into an election frenzy in what is one of the most important elections in recent UK history. Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn is competing against Theresa May for the top spot in number 10. It's Corbyn's rise that makes this election so controversial. These two candidates couldn't be more different. Jeremy Corbyn, who has been compared to Bernie Sanders, has had a long political career of standing for social issues, organizing social initiatives, and is considered further left of the norm. His political career has been on the fringes of the political mainstream and is viewed by his supporters as a challenge to the traditional political class. Corbyn's Labour Manifesto is ambitious in its socialist policies and its focus on the rights of the middle and lower classes. His critics, on the other hand, view him as weak and a bit of a hippie. He has been called out for not being strong enough when confronted about questions involving the UK military and its defence. These critics argue that they prefer what is perceived as the safe hand of Theresa May. Theresa May has been in government since 2010, as Home Secretary and now Prime Minister after David Cameron stepped down for his anti-Brexit stance. Her critics say that she is untrustworthy and someone who changes her policy positions too frequently. During her time as Home Secretary, she is accused of not carrying out her promises, such as in the case of immigration quotas, where the government pledged to bring down net immigration which she consistently failed to achieve. The pattern has continued into her time as Prime Minister on other issues. Her supporters, however, perceive her as a modern-day Margaret Thatcher and believe that she is the safest bet for Britain in this crucial time. Analysts argue that Theresa May called this snap election due to the perception that Jeremy Corbyn would do very poorly and that the Conservatives would guarantee another five years in power. But polls in the UK have shown Jeremy Corbyn surging in the weeks leading up to the election. Labour was trailing the Conservatives by around 20 points when the election was called in April. But since then, Labour has been sharply rising. The latest polls show Labour at 37% and the Conservatives at 42 Still. Most analysts say that Theresa May is the most likely winner and polls still predict a conservative win. But with the recent surge of Jeremy Corbyn and the unpredictability of these elections, it looks like it's anyone's guess. One thing is certain, this election is a much tighter race than anyone would have expected. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm thinking of creating a Patreon account. Um, let me know if you know what that is. Essentially, it's a way for people to support me in making these videos so I can try and achieve some of the goals, which is to produce more content, to do better analysis, to maybe bring some editors, writers on board. And this would be a good way to start, you know, sort of building that community around real matters. Um, and I just really like to know what you think about that. Uh, as always, you guys are awesome. Peace.